42-year-old Daniel Garcia was stoic in court Wednesday as he was arraigned on a dozen different charges. We do not uh, ordinarily see someone attempt to uh, detonate explosive devices around our very, very dense city. Garcia is accused of assaulting and attempting to rob someone at Saints Peter and Paul Church Sunday night. After police arrived, they say Garcia fled the area by car. In the ensuing chase, Garcia is alleged to have thrown multiple explosive devices out of his car window at officers. He was finally taken into custody in the East Bay city of Martinez. San Francisco District Attorney Brooke Jenkins says some of the charges her office has filed include a count of second-degree attempted murder, as well as six counts of detonating an explosive device with intent to commit murder. I believe we have a strong case here. Um, we have a, a, a vast amount of evidence to work with. He is facing life in prison. Garcia pleaded not guilty to all of the charges in court Wednesday. Never have I had a case where the uh, facts didn't turn out differently than we initially uh, received. Garcia is also currently dealing with other pending criminal matters, including a domestic violence case. Besides that, Garcia was found guilty back in 2012 for detonating a bomb under the car of one of his then tenants. Legal experts say this time around, Garcia's past could weigh on any potential sentencing. If the person's found guilty, when it comes time for sentencing, then the judge is going to consider a range of factors, and there someone's criminal history um, can make the punishment more severe. Garcia is scheduled to appear in court again on Thursday to set a preliminary hearing date. District Attorney Brooke Jenkins says she plans on keeping Garcia in custody due to the threat he poses to public safety. We are absolutely fortunate as a city that the police officers uh, weren't hurt, who this very well could have um, had grave impact to, and that it didn't spill over and, and harm any other innocent civilians in the area. In San Francisco, Tim Johns, ABC 7 News.